Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to create a pending invoice. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University. And so in this video, I wanna show you, you know, when you're creating invoices uh, in your company file, many, many times you're gonna to wanna to create what's called a pending invoice. All right, a pending invoice is something that doesn't post to your accounting records. So it doesn't go into accounts receivable. It doesn't show that this is owed by this customer. It's a pending invoice. Now, you are gonna to wanna to use this when you are creating invoices that uh, you wanna get into this system to have a record, but you know maybe you don't have all the information to uh, finish the invoice. Maybe you're waiting on some additional charges that need to be put on that invoice. Uh, just whatever the case may be, but it allows you, QuickBooks allows you to put in this invoice as pending and then you can mark it as final once you're complete. So it allows you, you know, time essentially uh, to get this right and to get it to the customer. Okay, so let's jump right into it. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go up to customers and uh, we are going to create invoices. All right, so I'm going to pick uh, let's say XYZ company remodel showroom. Okay. Select outstanding billable time and costs. We're not going to right now. Uh, we're going to create an entirely new invoice. All right. So let's say this is a remodel. All right. So I'm just going to pick some items here. We're going to say that we do a concrete slab and we do 15. Okay. And we're going to, let's see, pick some framing and we'll say that's 10. All right. And then let me pick one more item here. Let's say that uh, we have, let's say labor. All right. So it's 60 bucks an hour and we'll say this was 25 hours. Okay. So we have this here. It's $3,000. Now, if we're just not sure, you know, we need to get some additional descriptions from maybe some of the, uh, you know, the project managers, construction managers, uh, or we need to add in some additional items, but we don't have the final amount that we're going to bill for that yet. All right. What you can do is you see a box right up here that says mark as pending. Okay. And you see, it says saves the invoice, but doesn't record the accounting impact behind the scenes. Later, you can mark it as final. So what that mean is, means is it doesn't put it into accounts receivable. It doesn't show it as, you know, this is an amount due. It doesn't record it as sales. All right. So let me click on that and you'll see now it says pending non posting. Okay. So I can hit save and close. All right. So if I go to my customer center over here, and I go to XYZ company. Okay. You're going to see there is an invoice. Uh, this is the open invoice 108. If I change this to all invoices, okay, you're going to see my $3,000 one here. Now it doesn't signify that this is pending right here. So you want to make sure that you look at this and you say, okay, uh, these are all the invoices. Let me just do the open invoices, the 108. So you see, it doesn't show up. All right. And it also doesn't show up as revenue or anything like that. Okay. So when you're ready to, let me go back to create invoices, uh, taking the long way to this. Okay. Let me clear this taking the long way back to this. Okay. So pending non posting. So when we're ready, we have put in our description, we have done everything else you can mark as final and then you can hit save and close. And you go ahead and email it or mail it or whatever the case may be. So now you see over here, it's moved it to open invoices. All right. So we have uh, all invoices, 3000 is there and the open invoices now. And again, if you need to go back for some reason and mark it as pending again, you simply click that again, save and close and you're good to go. Uh, or you can mark as final. Okay. So those are the basics there. You can create these pending invoices in QuickBooks and, uh, you know, go back and change them to final and get those into your uh, company file to make sure that you're keeping track of everything. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University. We've got a lot of fantastic members over there that I answer their personal questions. Now, being a member of the QuickBooks University means that you purchase the training tutorials. It is a one-time fee. Good for life. There are no other fees. So head over there now, qbuniversity.org.